This is part two of the iconic heritage mega mansion we did earlier. If you haven't already seen that video, make sure you click on this link so that you can watch it first. Because this is part two, or the second half, of that amazing house tour. From here, you have a view of everything. You have a view of your pool, your main house, or rather your mansion, <laughs> and then your guest uh, area. Okay, so recap. Your, your bathtub. There are two water closets. This one is also like that one. So, all right, and see, it is enormous. It looks like a ballroom. Just because walang laman. But try imagining a... Honestly, kulang ang 12-seater dito because ideally, you'd want to be Just look. Look at all of these. That's something we used to draw in uh, fine arts. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. And imagine having a chandelier right there, right? The window, just so we can... Wow, the echo is real. <laughs> Set up commenta dito, but I don't sing. So this is just for you know letting the air in and as well as the light. Yeah. It's a nice touch though. Because without this, so brand dilim dito. Yeah. And there are a lot of light um, fixtures, pero yung awala pa kasi ng electricity dito, so di natin mahita in its full glory. Okay, so that covers the attic. Rolling yun? <laughs> Sorry, getting <laughs> more. All right, so going back here, uh, we have a sort of family mini, relatively mini family room where you know you can put a sofa in here, some books on the shelves, and then you have access to a relatively small balcony that overlooks part of the garden, not like even the whole garden, just part of it. <laughs> and then there's also one on this side. So this one is directly on top of the, okay, it's locked. <laughs> this one is directly on top of the main entrance. So if you remember, this is basically the same size as the foyer at the beginning of the video. And then here is your access to the rest of the bedrooms. Now, what you will notice is that there are only three doors. But there are so much more rooms back in there. There's five. So two of the rooms have secret accesses. <laughs> Let's go through this. No, this one first. This one? Okay, this one muna. <laughs> so this is bedroom number four, so far. Right, okay. So this bedroom has access to a balcony as well. I will show you later, madadaan na natin yan sa labas eh. But I believe that's locked, so it's better nga that we showed you this room first. And then it has an ensuite toilet and bath. Okay, this one is just basically a regular balcony. And when I say regular, it's not a his and hers type. Because it's ibang bathroom, diba? And like the junior master suite. So this is just a regular room, but it's huge. Okay, so that's bedroom number four. And now we're on to bedroom number five. Should we go through here first? Not that? Okay. Okay, so bedroom number five. It's basically the same kind of room. And you have here an ensuite toilet and bath. But this time we have a window outside so you can see better. So you have your walk-in closet, your um, uh, wardrobe rather, your sink. Behind John, we have the <laughs> enclosed shower space and the water closet or toilet. And then from here, we can go out into the balcony. The thing about this house is every time you go to a balcony, you could end up in a different room if you go through a different door. <laughs> So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. So from bedroom number four, the I showed you access to a balcony. Ito yon. <laughs> but we're not gonna go through there. We're gonna go through here, and this one will lead us to bedroom number six. Whew. <laughs> it's a lot to take in, isn't it? Have you lost count so far? How are you doing? Is your jaw open? <laughs> Because <laughs> mine was when I went here. Okay, so bedroom number six. So this is a differently shaped room. It's a lot bigger as well. Although it's not a junior master, I believe. It does have a sort of walk-in closet here. And uh, a bigger bathroom, but it also has just one sink. So it's a relatively regular bedroom. Relatively. 
It also has access to a balcony, but you know, that. Wait, long. This one actually does. Kita basa kamera. This one actually, when you go out the balcony, you can see the rest of the garden. Um, I don't know who did that. He that. So we're gonna go there later. The teaser for you. <laughs> and that house over there, kung na, kung nahagilap nyo, is just a guest bedroom or guest house or in-law suite. Okay, so out here is the main door for that room. So essentially, you can only go to that room via these, uh, this uh, staircase, which uh, leads down to the breakfast nook. Later, I'll show you. What is that? Metal. Metal sheeting? Okay. Metal sheeting. So later, we'll go back here and I'll show you. But for now, let's go through... This one is a sky garden. Kasi. But for now, let's go through uh, bedroom number seven. Ah, uh, this metal sheeting. Okay. <laughs> so bedroom number seven. Again, lots of space. You've got this. Ideally, that's where your bed will go. So in ayos to, tong part na to. You have a bed, a balcony, and then you have your ensuite, toilet and bath over there. This one leads to the toilet, ensuite, toilet and bath of bedroom number eight. <laughs> <laughs> this is bedroom number eight. So, and you have a view here of the main entrance. So this is the um, one of three doors that I showed you earlier. So, so that they can recognize it. So if you remember, we were out in this hall earlier and I told you that there were three doors, but in fact, there are five bedrooms. So we basically circled around. Okay. So now we're gonna go back to the staircase down in the, the back area. So that staircase essentially is just for people who live here, obviously, because you don't, you know, you, your guests won't be able to see it right off the bat. So I'm not sure whom you would want to put in these special rooms, although they are bigger. They are bigger than the other bedrooms. So it's just special. Siya. Especially since you know, it has a secret access. Okay, before we go down, let's first head up to the Sky Garden. This part reminds me of Harry Potter. Ni papunta sa Astronomy Tower. <laughs> What's really interesting with this house, despite the fact na walang kuryente and everything, speaking of kuryente, libre yung mga air conditioning units dito. Ah. Okay, ang lamig niya. It's probably because the floors are marble and these really cold tiles. So, ang presko niya sa loob. Okay, so now we're on the Sky Garden. Kita pala dito yung units. Okay, this is actually pretty big. Uh, this, is this a chimney? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> it's for plants. <laughs> these are plant boxes. Okay, so you can see essentially and you can maintain them from here. These are cobblestone flooring. And you have so much ground to walk on. And it's beautiful because all you can see are basically your gorgeous tiles and trees and your quiet community. Again, this is in Ayala, Alabama. Corner lot pa siya. So, you know, it's pretty amazing stuff. For you to, to be able to live here in a place this big, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but can you imagine we're only done with a portion of this house. You've been watching for this long and you still have not subscribed? Subscribe! Click on this. Okay, so, so far that's eight bedrooms and roughly it should be around eight toilet and baths, two powder rooms, although you said you didn't see it because it's in theater. Actually, no, three. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but there's a gym with the toilet and bath. So, I guess that's nine toilet and baths. 
Okay, so the bottom of this stair leads to the breakfast nook. So from here, we can actually go out to the garden or go through here. Okay, so this, is, this one leads outside. Ito yung isang door that leads to the kitchen. And this one leads to your two car port. So two covered car ports. So from here, you have access to the front of the house as well as the kitchen. Lumabas yata tayo dito kanina. That's right, from the kitchen and then out. So ito yun. You can also go here and then you can go to the rest of the... Uh, this is called your uh, in-law suite. Later, I'll show you. But for now, I just want to show you this area. So this leads down to a basement. And hindi ko mapakita because it's dark. But it's essentially as big as... Basically, the five rooms that we saw up here. Remember that? So more or less, estimate nyo kung gano'ng kalaki yung five rooms na yun, gano'ng kalaki yung basement. Because down there is where you will have your laundry area, your maid's quarters, your driver's quarters. And? And dirty kitchen. So a lot of stuff is going down there. It's just unfortunate that I can't show you right now. But just imagine, right? I went down. I went down there earlier, ngay. Parang meron pa siyang division and everything. Ang laki. Hindi siya mukhang drivers' maids. Dirty kitchen, laundry area. It's pretty. It's pretty special. Okay, from here, di ba yun yung two car port? Ay taka. Dito tayo dumaan John. Bakak mada para. You have there your two car port, and then across this, presumably, you would put a fountain here, kasi merong um. Rotonda or Rotonda. <laughs> you have here another set of carports. Now this time three. So basically you have three carports in total, not covered. And then you can have your guest park guests park around the rotunda. So that's another additional five cars more or less. So give or take ten cars. Technically you can fit in more because there's a huge garden here, so that will depend on you kumpana mo ayusin. Okay. So it's pretty, this one is pretty straightforward naman. So you just have lots of ample space for your cars. Na hindi sila dikit-dikit. And then you have access to the back. It's open para ano, hindi kulob. So honestly, this is, this reminds me of a stable. So if you had a house like late 1800s, early 19, uh, 1900s, this would be what a stable looked like. Except now it's for cars. <laughs> and then up here we have your in-law suite. So above the carport, you can see your main house from here. What a lovely sight. Ang ganda pa mga bougainvillea. So it really adds character. And then, your guest room or your in-law suite. Whatever it is you want to do with it. So it's basically all of this space. You have balconies, two of them. And then you have an ensuite, toilet, and bath which also has access to a balcony. And then here, you only have one sink. However, you do have two spaces. I would assume one is for the showers and one is for your water closet. Yung toilet kasi hindi install eh. Wala siya sa lugar niya dapat. But yeah, so these three balconies would align uh, above the three carports. Whew. Okay. Main house done, guest house done. Now we can show you the garden and the cabana. Because of course there's a cabana. Finally, you get a glimpse of the garden ground level. Imagine if this was maintained, no? Laki, laki ng grounds. I mean, again, you have 5,178 square meters of it. Okay, so you have here a gazebo or a pavilion. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what you want to put in there, but probably some kind of decorative shrine, altar, or uh, if you had a party, this would be the main, like, sort of like in a wedding in your altar, parang ganun. <laughs> if you were to have events here. Which you practically could. You don't need to go out in event halls. You can just have your parties or your events in this place. Okay, so right behind me, we have basically three swimming pools. Let me stay here in the shade. 
So we have a diving pool over there. Hindi lang kita sa camera, but from the rock, on, from on top of the rocks, you can actually dive down because that's what 15 feet, more or less 15 feet lalim niya. And then the rest of it over here, it's more or less six, six feet. Hindi di ko matanche actually. And then meron pa sa kabilang side, so mga mas shallow. So there's stairs, there's a slide. This is the fun part of the pool. And then, let's go to the cabana. <laughs> Muntik na ako pumasok sa bintana. Pero medyo mas madali ata pumasok sa bintana. This is not the proper entrance to the cabana. This is a window. I know all of it can be opened naman pala. So technically it is a good way to go into the cabana if you opened all of it. Okay. So essentially ang daming birds. It's so nice. Okay. Essentially this is where you would host your pool parties. So it can open up to the pool. You can open everything up, let let the breeze in. I don't know. And I guess you could serve your cocktails here in the afternoon. Then out here, sama ka ba? <laughs> De, ito na lang, from here na lang. You see all of those columns? It's just another venue or like another area that's uh, nice for parties and get togethers and gatherings. Yeah. Also, I'm, that would be the ideal place to put one of those uh, pool lounges. Yung, pwede mo higan habang basa ka in your swimsuit. <laughs> okay, I'm not. A door, but let's just go through here. <laughs> On either side of this cabana, you have uh, access to the stairs. So let's go through this one. To the final portion of our house tour. Oh, that breeze. And the eastern staircase is sinasabiko. So they basically, they bo both meet to end up here. And from here, you have a view of everything. You have a view of your pool your main house, or rather your mansion, <laughs> and then your guest uh, area. Okay, so recap. Basically, you've got 10 bedrooms and 10 toilet and baths, but frankly, there are certain rooms in there that you could probably transform into a bedroom if you wanted to, because they also have an ensuite toilet and bath, like the gym, for example. But then with so many rooms, you don't really need to transform anything. <laughs> and what else? Uh, you've got that dirty kitchen, a formal kitchen. You've got a huge dining area and then a breakfast nook. What else do you have? You have a separate maids and driver's quarters uh, along with the laundry area down in the basement, which I was not able to show you. You have that huge theater. Again, I was not able to show you, but as you can imagine, if you remember the main hall, the circular main hall, it's so big. It's And uh, all of this land, all of this lot, all 5,178 square meters of it. Floor area, by the way, is 3,000. 3,000, guys. That's a lot of floor to cover. And this is all in Ayala, Alabang. And the aesthetics as well. So you have this really, really nice garden. Imagine if you could maintain it the way you want to. And then the design is uh, something like uh, American Colonial Revival more or less Medyo with some modern bits because the fixtures actually sa ba toilet and bath uh, they're all high end they're all pretty modern behind di lang obvious because everything else you might see it looks very stylized right like in american colonial so yeah if you want to see this place for yourself or better yet if you know someone who wants to see houses like this please do share it on your social media page share it to your friends it really does help us out in letting us know that you guys are interested in videos like this. And also, wasn't it fun? Did you get tired? Did you have fun? Let us know down in the comments below if you thought this house was something extra because it really does have extra space. But otherwise, if you want to see this house for yourself, please do send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. 
And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>